fresher. Learning Lori Wallace is live in Folsom this morning with more on that. Not just STEM anymore. I hope you saved me a lot of time because I have some really cool stuff to show you. <laughs> these robots, look at doing a little bit of artwork. Let's start this one back up. Chris, aren't these oh, look, they cute? Draw. This is just one of the many projects that they do over here in Folsom. Chris and Jesse just brought this place here a few months ago. It is called Lab 11235. And what does that number mean? So that comes from the Fibonacci sequence, and it's a natural pattern. You knew that, right, guys? <laughs> totally. Yeah, it's a pattern totally. That, comes, that you see in nature. And basically, one plus one is two, one plus two is three, and so forth. And it speaks to the natural curiosity that you know we have in kids, and we should really be nurturing. And if you take a look around this place, you're going to see a lot of really cool things happening. You have a background in museums and bringing things to life. And now that you brought this to Folsom, you're enriching these kids with those same kinds of activities. Yeah, exactly. Um, so my background's in building science centers. I've been building science centers for many, many years all over the world. And I'm basically capturing that, those experiences and bring it here to Folsom for these kids. Okay, I want to show you guys a couple things up front here that they've worked on. They're wrapping up a winter camp. Today is the last day. This upcycled igloo is everything. Tell me about this. So this was actually one of the first projects that they did, um, basically taking old recycled water bottles and creating uh, an igloo from it. Um, it was really fun. Kids really enjoyed it, and it's all about group projects and working together and collaborating. Okay, and you have the wind tunnel over here. This was another thing that you guys did. Yes, so this is a wind tunnel. This is one of our design challenges. And uh, Jesse here will put the parachute in. But kids have to iterate <laughs> and learn about wind resistance to create a uh, parachute that hovers in the middle. So they're learning about weights and physics and very, very fun stuff. Okay, and as we walk over here, I want to talk to Jesse really quick because you offer something for families that not a lot of places like this do. You will pick up kids after school, get them to school. So this can be uh, something that parents have their kids do before and after school that really keeps them very busy. Yeah, definitely. Um, kids learn a lot of hands-on projects here, and we do things like um, solve the case of the missing cupcake. So we have a bunch of suspects, and we had to pull up the fingerprints from the tables and look at their hair and find the culprit. So um, kids definitely have a lot of fun. And uh, what's great is it's super convenient for the parents. We have uh, transportation to and from school, so they can drop their kids on and off, uh, pick up them here. Um, and their convenience, which is which is really nice. With busy families these days, it gives parents an opportunity to know their kids are being kept engaged while, while they're not at home. Um, so you guys have signups all year round on your website for camps and classes. Correct. Yeah, and we also have summer camp coming up. So you can go online right now at lab11235.com and sign up for your after school uh, program and reserve your spot. And Chris, the age group here, how old are the kids? Uh, these are K through five, um, but we cater to pre K through eight, eighth grade. All right, so much fun. You guys, brand new to Folsom, only been here three months. You can sign up anytime, be a part of a class or a camp, and get your kids engaged in all of these awesome opportunities. I'll send it back to you in the studio. That's so fun. Cool.